Scorpios, welcome to Turn Heal. Welcome to the place where we turn heal our way to self love and unity consciousness. Welcome to your weekly love reading. This is person A, person B. Figure out where you're on the storyline. Happy New Year, by the way. Okay, person A is giving the magician. They're sitting in their magician energy. Okay, heard your boss. All right, and person B is giving a ton of pentacles. Cool. Um, all right. Well, let's see where that's going. Seven of Wands on their end, and the Fool card in reverse. Okay. Um, all right. So if person A was feeling, wasn't feeling empowered or confident, they're not feeling confident. Okay. So that's cool. I feel like they're they're getting um, the courage to make a change here. All right. Um, let's see what that change is looking like. Person B has a two of pentacles. Okay. Person B has a two of pentacles. So the two of pentacles and the ten of pentacles, they're kind of not feeling too confident about person A and their new power. It's like, all right, person A is standing up like, I am Scorpio or I am whatever. I am person A, hear me raw, girl. And person B is kind of shaking in her space boots. Like, okay. I mean, kudos to you for being in your power, but also shut it down, okay? I don't like you being too empowered out here, all right? Cut it out. All right, <laughs> let's see what, um, how does person A feel about person B? See, this, this might be a bit intimidating because person B might start looking at it like, so what you about to do with this power? Um, how does person A feel about person B? <clears throat> Five of Cups in reverse, though. So not feeling too guilty about that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um. Uh. Okay. So person A. It seems like person A. This is how they feel about the connection. They're like, they're saying it. This ain't it for me, and I don't feel guilty about how I feel, pretty much. I'm not putting in much effort, and I'm cool with that. I'm standing in my power. So that I can see why person B would be like Seven of Swords energy. I don't like it, okay? What can I do to change or disempower? Because there, it seems like person A's empowerment is kind of damaging to whatever connection they have going on you guys have going on all right they are trying to put an end to it oh my gosh clarifying that seven of swords they're trying to put an end to that all right shut it the f down i don't know where you got this new power from i don't know why you got this new battery in your back but shut it the f down okay what you think you want to leave and, and find someone better with this abundance card coming through ain't no other fish in the sea i'm the only fish baby that's it that's how person b's feeling all right. Oh, you saw how that card flew? All right. Person B, and like, they, they're they supported, is what I heard. Supported, okay? Oh. Oh, okay. So they have the Queen of Pentacles energy coming through. Um... With the Six of Pentacles, they feel like things are equal and balanced, all right? They feel like things are equal and balanced. You support me, I'm supported, or whatever, I don't know. I'm just hearing the word supported, and then with this Queen of Pentacles, which is like material stuff. So I don't know if this is a, uh, is something like that going on where they depend on person A financially. Either way, they feel like it's an equal exchange, okay? It's like... You support me, I take care of the household. Whatever the case is, they're like, we got a good thing going. Don't start getting all these funny ideas, okay, in your mind that maybe you can do better, okay? Um, but yeah, they, they think it's cool. Everything, I mean, yeah, all right. I'm getting all this pentacles energy. I don't know if finances is playing a role here. Why are these cards flying like this? See, they feel like person B 
This is how they feel about person A. Person A, they're doing way too much thinking. They're getting way too many bright ideas right now, okay? And, and they're finding themselves and they're starting to ask some questions. They don't like that. Cut it out. Are you trying to have time to yourself? You trying to have some time to yourself so you could think things out, huh? What you think is happening here? Shut it down. You ain't leaving without me. Mm -mm. All right, well, hey, you know. All right, and what is person A failing to see? What is person A failing to see? Hmm. This person, oh my gosh, person A done manifested a new beginning. Person B caught on, okay? So we have the three of wands coming through with the death card and the page of swords. They can't hide this anymore. So here's what I feel is happening. And this is based on the past couple of readings I've been doing for Scorpio, where it seems as if person A um they and they might not have shown up as person a in all of the readings but this character that is represented by person a in this current reading they have been slowly manifesting a new beginning for themselves and they've just been biding their time in the connection okay it seems like their manifestation is about to peak to the surface and now yeah, it's something like that that's happening. I, or um, person A is starting to believe that it can happen, that they can manifest their way out of it. Either way, they weren't carrying themselves in the most empowering way before. They were trying to work it out in their mind. They were sorting out some things. And it seems like now they're getting to a place where they're like, I can do this. I have enough strength. I can do this. I can... Put in, I have enough strength and courage to put an end to this, all right? They, they feel protected, guarded. They feel equipped to take this on. Now, this can be um, someone putting an end to a relationship in general, or it could just be putting an end to a specific dynamic that didn't make them happy. Either way, it requires a speaking up, okay? It requires a standing up for oneself in the connection. So the person who is on the op opposite side of that obviously is not going to be too happy. Nope. So how does person B, what does person B fail to see? We have the Ten of Wands with the Chariot card. They, they see, they feel like it was equal reciprocity for some reason, but it's coming out like they were actually kind of being a burden here, okay? But the Ten of Wands coming out with the Chariot card, it does seem like they weren't pulling their weight in this connection, whether it was emotionally, I'm getting finances, okay? But it can be it can be financial, it can be emotional, whatever the case is. It was like, person A was bringing a lot, person B was just giving Page of Pentacles energy, which is the, look, the least amount of effort, doing bare minimum stuff, but getting the rewards to be a queen of Pentacles, um, but we do have the Two of Cups coming out here. Four of Wands in a verse. We have the Two of Cups, so it is a it is a, a soulmate thing, but it just seems like somebody got a little bit complacent. So they're feeling the seed that they were actually causing a bit of a heaviness in this connection. And that's why things are playing out the way it was, the way it is. Okay. All this moving on energy. This is this is what this is why this person is trying to manifest a new beginning because they weren't getting what they wanted, even though I think person B had the capabilities of doing it. All right. I think they were just being complacent. Resting on their laurels. Like you ain't going nowhere. Where you going? Hmm? And they still kind of carry this energy of entitlement. Yeah, it's entitlement with person B. It's a little bit of selfishness. Okay, well, hey. What is advice? What is advice for person A? The way these 
cards are flipping out. Is somebody about to flip out? Actually. Person B is going to be like, go and get me some ice cream. And person A is going to flip out. I ain't getting no more goddamn ice cream ever again. <laughs> like, is that what's going to happen? I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> So, person A, you have the Queen of Cups coming out with the Nine of Pentacles. This is good energy, okay? You're in a, um, I feel like a more balanced headspace, okay? Emotional space. You're seeing clearly, you're feeling clearly, and I feel like you're feeling, this is a bit of a tower because it's like, this is the most emotional balance you felt in a while, or the more, the most in touch with your feelings that the i don't know it's just like you were in a bit of a emotional daze and now you're out of it and you're like seeing clearly now emotionally understanding your emotions clearly maybe something like that happening trusting your emotions feeling more secure in your emotional state because you might have been gaslighting yourself in this connection for a bit is what i feel like Especially if this person thought that they were, they this was an, uh, an equally beneficial situation. You were probably, and you were feeling like it wasn't, you were probably gaslighting yourself to believe that it was because this person was acting like they were on, they were on equal footing with you. Um, but now you're seeing it for what it is, like, look, this is me, okay? I'm the motherfucking magician. You're not. You're a queen of pentacles because I'm a magician. Um, <laughs> that's what I feel. You're sitting here saying you're on my level, but you, the only reason why you're on my level is because you're with me. That's how I'm feeling it. Okay, all right. Sorry, that's what it's coming off as. Just saying. Like you're you're benefiting from my my power, my manpower. Okay. <laughs> Not saying this is a masculine energy, but I'm saying manpower because it's like hard work or whatever. It's it's someone's effort. This situation is floating because of me. You're queen of pentacles because of me. Like, that's what I'm feeling here. And they're like, see, I'm queen of pentacles. You're king of pentacles. See, we're, we're both the same. It's like, well, if it wasn't for me, you wouldn't be this. So we're not really the same. You don't have what it takes to, if I leave, you wouldn't be this. Savage. Ooh, okay. I'm getting that flipping out energy. <laughs> oh my God. All right. Mm. I'm sorry. If you're person B, I'm sorry. I'm just channeling, okay? I'm channeling the emotion. Because these, these cards are coming out with conviction right now. And it's a little bit intense. Um, so I think person B. Person B, you got to get your head out your butt a little bit here, okay? Get your head out your butt. Take a real honest assessment of the situation real quick before you lose it okay that's what's happening eight of swords coming out you're in this loop or you need to get out of this loop okay of thinking that there's equal footing here and it's not you have to hold yourself accountable what do you what are you really offering what are you bringing to the table whether not just i do see finances playing a role i do but I don't think that is what person A is asking for. If you were able to bring emotional fulfillment, I don't think you're bringing finan financial fulfillment or emotional fulfillment. So it's just like why you're just coming off as dead weight, why you feel like you're, you're doing. It's just, yeah, person B, you got to look, look, look at this situation from a realistic point of view, okay? Just map it out write down what they're doing for the relationship write down what you're doing for the relationship and just be honest with yourself okay so you understand that you are in this energy of entitlement okay um it's almost this is like pillow princess energy okay where they're just laying back getting getting ah. you know what i'm saying getting getting it done all day and then not trying to return favors is what that's what it feels like I'm feeling the frustration on person A's and that, that's why I'm being a little raw, I guess. Anyway, so yeah, you have the lover's card coming out. It's, yeah, soulmate energy, yes. This person just got complacent. I think they're like, well, I paid my dues. I don't have to keep putting in effort or something like that. Anyway, whatever. All right, let's see what the um, romance angels have to say. What do the romance angels 
have to say. song don't get too comfortable baby we have it is safe for you to love open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all that is person a they're like going into this queen of cups energy and i feel like they're having this heart revolution realizing that they deserve love realizing that they're not getting the love that they deserve and then being open to receiving love you know actually receiving love because part of them they accepted, you know, this this lack of reciprocity in this relationship, um, and there, and it was a reason for that. Okay, it was a reason for it. It was an emotional stunting that happened that um, that made them say that this is a level of des the this is a level of love that I deserve, and I don't have to, I don't deserve to go any higher. All right, so someone opened up their heart, like. It's, it's, I can receive love. I can receive the full on love, okay? It doesn't have to be this muted love. Wow, this is really coming through. Some, um, whoever person A is, yeah. Yes, this is a soulmate, okay? That, that keeps coming through. Yes, this is a soulmate, yes, okay? But they're still not doing what they gotta do, okay? So it is a tough decision. What was I gonna say? I don't know, anyways. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, person A, you guys are going to be very clear about what the situation is, what it's not. And I think it's it, it causes a little bit of being upset. Um, forgiving and learning is coming out here, okay? Free yourself. Wow, okay. Free yourself is coming through here. All right, so yeah, forgive yourself um, for what you didn't know. Also forgive this person. I do feel like uh, this person is kind of living in a non-realistic land a little bit. Um, so just forgive them for who they are, what they are, and, you know. Um, but, yeah. I, I do feel like a, an energy of flipping out, you know what I mean? So just try not to do that. Or if you have to express how you feel, just try to make sure that you're doing it in a way. Oh, gosh. Oh my gosh, as I'm saying that, I wish I could take back my words. So this is, oh, let me write that down. Um, 17, 25. As I'm saying, I'm saying like person A, like mind how you communicate because I feel like you're gonna flip out and here we are. I wish I could take back my words. Mm -hmm. Cause I'm, I don't know, I'm talking about person B in a very harsh way and I'm like, this is not, I am definitely channeling the frustration of person A. Person A is in their power with that magician energy and I feel like your words, if you're person A, your words can be very crushing. You, are, you already won, you are the magician, you're clearly on top, but the realization of that, you might wanna bring the person B down to size because they're in this sense of entitlement and maybe they do need some of that. Maybe they do need a slice of humble pie, but either way, I don't know. It seems like you might regret it if you if you flip out, okay? Ooh, okay. What does person A want to tell person B? You don't know how hard it was to let go? Yeah, because it is a soulmate. It's going to be hard. It doesn't mean that it doesn't have to happen, okay? This person could be your soulmate. They can not be a bad person. They can love you, but if they're not right, none of these really matter. Love is not really enough, is it? Okay. I couldn't let you get close to me. That's person A. That's what they want to tell person B. All right. What does person B want to tell person A? Okay, these readings are getting longer and longer. Oh, my gosh. You came closer than anyone, and I'm not available. See, I mean, person B got some work to do, and I, I'm getting this energy of neglecting that work. They know they got work to do, and I, I don't know if they're in a space to give the love. They're not. They're not in a space to give the love that a person A wants or deserves, right? Because they haven't been doing it. They know what they need to bring, but they don't know how to do it, or they, they don't have the ability to right now. It feels like the only they can only give a certain amount of love. Um, they need to work on themselves, okay? Person B, you got to work on yourself. All right? Just, that is what it is. Okay. These um 
I swear, these, these love readings are getting rough, man. And I'm doing them every week. I'm like, oh my gosh. Do y'all really want to hear these soap operas every week? These are rough, man. Ain't nobody, you know what I'm saying, in, in a good space right now. And I know, like, with that with that Venus and Capricorn, like, chickens are coming home to roost. It's just, it's rough out here in these streets. Okay. So we have move. See, yeah, I feel like somebody's prepping to move. Acing, yacing, what? I don't know. I feel like, yeah, the person is just feeling way more confident. They're feeling on their ish. It was like, move, nothing's gonna stop me. But it's that type of bold energy that might bulldoze, you might bulldoze um, person B by accident. They hoes. Oh my God. See, yo, somebody's gonna be mad. Oh my God, person A, please be mindful because I feel like you're in a disrespectful mood right now. You're, you're on your shit. Okay, person A, you're gonna be in your power. You're gonna feel on your shit and you might be a little bit reckless with your mouth. I just wanna keep saying that like disrespectful, okay? Because you're gonna be so fed up. You've been holding it in for so long. So when you do pop off, that stinger is gonna come out. Please, and I said that with that last reading, like, they, it might get a little ugly. Please do not sting them. Try not to. This energy is coming out as a stinger. Somebody's like, man, they hoes. I ain't worried about them. Move out my way, you know? And it's just, come on. <laughs> I mean, just be mindful. This might happen, okay? All right, well, thank you so much. Till next week, peace.